Now this part of the question, what I would always suggest is that we've got to copy down the diagram and mark in the forces. So I've got A, B and C and we've got the two strings here, A, C and B, C. And we're told that we suspend a particle at C. So if we suspend a particle of mass m, then we'll have the weight acting downwards, and that would be mg. So we need to mark that in. mg newtons. We're told that the tension in the string AC is 20 newtons, so we need a force acting in that direction. Mark that in as 20 newtons. And we're asked to find the tension in BC, which will act in this direction. So I'll just call it T. Next, I would put a dotted line up here, and I would put a dotted line across here. And we need to mark in some angles. So what angles are we going to have on this cross? Well, We've got alternate angles here, so if that's 60 degrees, this one here would be 60 degrees, so mark that one in. And again, we've got alternate angles here, so this one here would be 30 degrees, so we'll mark that in. Okay, so I think we've got, we've got all the forces now, we've got our angles marked in, and we would then need to think about resolving to get T. Now the best way that we could resolve here is to resolve horizontally and I'm going to choose to resolve towards the right hand side, make that positive. It technically doesn't matter which way you resolve, whether you take the left as positive or the right, but I'm taking the right as positive purely because looking ahead I can see that it will just keep T positive in the equation that I'm going to write here. So if I resolve towards the right hand side, we start with the T here, okay, now the component of T that acts towards the right is going to be T cos 60. We're resolving in the direction that contains the angle. So if you, if you do that, it's always cosine. So we've got T cosine of 60 degrees. So that's the component of T that acts in that direction. Mg, this force here, acts at right angles to this horizontal direction. So there's no effect coming from the force Mg. Moving on to this force here, the component of 20 newtons that acts along this dotted line in this direction is now going to be minus because it acts in the opposite direction. It contains the angle of 30 degrees, so it's going to be cosine. 20 cosine 30 degrees. So just mark that in there. Now this is the overall resultant force then acting along this horizontal line here and because it's not moving that resultant force is going to equal zero. Okay so there's our equation all we need to do now is just rearrange it and make t the subject. So if I add 20 cos 30 to both sides and divide by cos 60 we're going to have that therefore t equals 20 cos 30 all divided by the cos of 60 degrees. And if you use a calculator then to work out that tension, if you work it out in the exact form, you'll find you'll get 20 root 3 newtons. If you work it out as a decimal, you're going to get 34.64 one zero and so on and if we round that say to three significant figures you're going to get 34.6 newtons to three significant figures and that then is the tension in the string BC
All right. Well, that brings us to the end then of this part of the question.